Hey, what's up everybody? Molten Mage here, and I'm creating this video to show you how to get all the mounts that are obtainable from the Warlords of Draenor. For every mount in this video, I have provided coordinates of each of their locations and timestamps of each specific mount in the video description down below. The first mounts in this video are the Garn Steel Maw, Giant Cold Snout, Smoky Direwolf, and Shadowhide Pearl Tusk. To get these mounts, you must have a level 3 garrison. Once your garrison is level 3, you can either go to your garrison's war map and complete one of the dailies, or you can complete any of the scouting missives from Sergeant Grimjaw and the Horde garrison, or Sergeant Crowler and the Alliance garrison. After you complete either the daily or scouting missives, you will be able to speak to Sergeant Grimjaw or Sergeant Crowler to start a garrison invasion. Once you start the invasion, make sure that you get 1300 plus points so that you will be rewarded with the Invader's Forgotten Treasure and the Routed Invader's Crate of Spoils. You can only get these rewards once per week, and both rewards will have a small chance to drop either one of the four mounts. Next are the trained mounts, which include the Snarler, Meadow Stomper, River Wallow, Rock Tusk, Silver Pelt, and Ice Hoof. To get the trained mounts, you'll need to create a stables in your garrison and then complete the six quest lines for each of the mounts offered in your stables. After you complete each quest line, you will be rewarded with that quest line's trained mount. Then once you have completed all six quest lines, this will complete the Master of Mounts achievement which will unlock the Stables 3 blueprint. Upgrade your Stables to level 3, then your Stables will offer the Black Claw of the Seath, needed to complete the Advanced Husbandry achievement which requires you to defeat all mount and training targets in the Grand while carrying the Black Claw, and will reward you with the Armored Frost Spore. Upgrading your Stables to level 3 will also offer you the Garn Tooth Necklace needed to complete the Stable Master achievement which requires you to defeat all mount and training targets in the Grand while carrying the necklace, and will reward you with the Armored Frost Wolf. Next are the Rock Tusk Battle Boar and the Witherhide Cliff Stomper. To get these mounts you simply need to buy them for gold from Trader Dar Rock and the Horde Garrison and Trader Ronda and the Alliance Garrison. For the traders to be in your garrison, it must be Tier 3. Next is the Mudback River Beast. To get this mount, you need to complete the garrison mission, it's a boat, it's a plane, it's just a river beast. It is simply RNG for the mission to show up on your garrison command table. Next is the Coldfist Gronling. To get this mount, you need to complete the garrison mission Breaker 2, or you can purchase it off the auction house. To unlock the mission Breaker 2, you need to have at least 10 followers with at least 675 item level, and have RNG on your side as it is a very rare mission. Next is the Ironside Warwolf and the Armored Iron Tusk. To get these mounts you need to have a trading post in your garrison and make sure that it is at least tier 2. Then you need to become exalted with the Horde Side Reputation Laughing Skull for the Ironside Warwolf and the Alliance Side Reputation Shatari Defense for the Armored Iron Tusk. To get exalted with the Laughing Skull, farm these locations here in Gorkrond. For the Shatari Sky Guard, farm these locations here in Talador. Once you are exalted, speak to your respective faction's quartermaster located in your garrison's trade post. Next is the Crimson Water Strider. To get this mount, you need a tier 3 fishing shack. To unlock the blueprint for a tier 3 fishing shack, you need to complete the achievement Draenor Angler, which requires you to farm 100 each of various types of Draenor fish. Once your fish shack is at tier 3, you will then be able to pick up the quest Luring Gnat in your shack and it will take you on a small quest chain to recruit Nat Pagel to your shack. Once you have recruited Nat Pagel, you will need to earn reputation with him and become his best friend by completing his dailies offered by him at your fishing shack. You will also need to farm 100 Nat's lucky coins which is rewarded from completing various Lunker quests offered by him and also rarely drops from the Lunar Fall Cave Dwellers and Frost Deep Cave Dwellers. Once you have finished all the requirements, you can purchase the mount from Nat Pagel in your fishing shack. Next is the Dusty Rock Hide. This is an Alliance only mount. To get this mount you must be exalted with the Council of Exarchs and to get exalted farm the mobs in these locations here in Shadow Moon Valley. Once you are exalted you can purchase the mount from the Council of Exarchs Quartermaster located here in Stormshield. Next is the Swift Frost Wolf. This is a Horde only mount. To get this mount you must be exalted with the Frost Wolf Orcs and to get exalted, farm the mobs in these locations here in Frostfire Ridge. Once you are exalted, you can purchase the mount from the Frostwolf Orcs Quartermaster located here in Warspear. Next is the Shadowbane Charger. To get this mount, you must be exalted with the Aroka Outcast, 
and to get exalted, farm the mobs at these locations here in the Spires of Iraq. Once you are exalted, you can purchase them out from the Horde Oroka Outcast Quartermaster located here in Warspear, and the Alliance Oroka Outcast Quartermaster located here in Stormshield. Next is the Domesticated Razorback. To get this mount, you must be exalted with the Steam Weedle Preservation Society, and to get exalted, you need to farm the Gordian Artifact Fragments and the High Mall Relics. You can get Gorian Artifact Fragments and High Mall Relics from caches and mobs located in this area of Nagrand. Turn these in to Saylee Silver Clamp located here in Nagrand to get reputation. Once you are exalted, you can purchase them out from the Horde Steam Weedle Quartermaster located here in Warsphere and the Alliance Steam Weedle Quartermaster located here in Stormshield. Next is the Moss Hide River Wallow. To get this mount, you need to purchase it for gold and apexis crystals from either the Horde vendor Dawnseeker Alkset located here in Warsphere, or the Alliance vendor Dawnseeker Krillic located here in Stormshield. Next are the Wild Gore Tusk and Bristling Hellbore. To get these mounts, you must become exalted with the Saber Stalkers and spend Black Fang Claws. You can get reputation in Black Fang Claws from killing elite mobs in this area of Tanan Jungle. Once you are exalted and have enough Black Fang Claws, you can purchase the mounts from the Saber Stalker Quartermaster located here in Tanan Jungle. Next is the Pale Thorn Grazer. To get this mount, you must be exalted with the Alliance Faction, Viren's Vanguard. This mount can be mounted by both Horde and Alliance. To get reputation with them, queue for the Ashround Battleground as an Alliance player and complete the quests offered in the Battleground. You can also kill players and loot them for a chance to hand in blue items like the one shown on the screen for reputation and hand them back at the base before the battleground ends. Once exalted, speak to the Stormshield Quartermaster located here in Stormshield. Next is the Breeze Strider Stallion. To get this mount, you must be exalted with the Horde faction, Vol'jin Spear. This mount can be mounted by both Horde and Alliance. To get reputation with them, Queue for the Ashround Battleground as a Horde player and complete the quest offered in the Battleground. You can also kill players and loot them for a chance to hand in blue items like the one shown on the screen for reputation and hand them back at the base before the Battleground ends. Once exalted, speak to the Warspear Quartermaster located here in Warspear. Next is the Death Tusk Felbor and Corrupted Dreadwing. To get the Death Tusk Felbor, you must be exalted with either the Horde faction Bulgen's Headhunters or the Alliance faction Hand of the Prophet. And to get the Corrupted Dreadwing, you must be friendly with the Order of the Awakened and spend 150,000 Apexis Crystals. To unlock the ability to earn reputation with all factions, you must have a Tier 3 Garrison and create a Level 1 Shipyard. Once you create the Shipyard, you'll be offered the quest The Invasion of Tanan, which will get you started on a quest chain that you will need to complete. Once that quest chain is completed, you'll unlock Balmar for Horde and Lion's Watch for Alliance. When these small towns are unlocked, you unlock dailies that you can complete to gain reputation with the factions in your respective towns. Once exalted with the Vol'jin Headhunters, speak to Shadowhunter Dinjay, located on Volmar, to get the Felbor. Or once exalted with the Hand of the Prophet, speak to Vindicator Kretos, located in Lion's Watch, to get the Felbor. Lastly, once friendly with the Order of the Awakened, and once you have 150,000 Apexis Crystals, speak to Dawnseeker Krizek in either Volmar or Lion's Watch. Next is the Great Grey Tusk. To get this mount, you must kill the rare elite Gorok. He has approximately a 7 to 8 hour respawn timer and has a 99% chance to drop the mount. He spawns in these locations here in Frostfire Ridge. Next is the Bloodhoof Bull. To get this mount, you must kill the rare elite Knack the Thunderer. He has approximately a 20 hour respawn timer and has a 99% chance to drop the mount. He spawns in these locations here in the Grand. Next is the Mottled Meadow Stomper. To get this mount, you must kill the rare elite Luckhawk. He has approximately a 6 to 8 hour respawn timer and has a 99% chance to drop the mount. He spawns in these locations here in the Grand. Next is the Sapphire River Beast. To get this mount, you must kill the rare elite Slithide. He has approximately a respawn timer of 12 to 28 hours and has a 100% chance to drop the mount. He spawns in these locations here in Talador. Next is the Sunhide Gronling. To get this mount, you must kill the rare elite Poundfist. He has approximately a 50 plus hour respawn timer and has a 99% chance to drop the mount. He spawns in these locations here in Gorkrond. Next is the Swift Breeze Strider. To get this mount, you must kill the rare elite Pathrunner. He has approximately a 6 to 8 hour respawn timer 
and has a 99% chance to drop them out. He spawns in these locations here in Shadow Moon Valley. Next is the Gar Night Howl. To get this mount, you can either purchase it off the auction house or kill the elite Nok Karash. He has approximately a spawn timer of 20 minutes and has a 100% chance to drop them out. He spawns in this location here in Frostfire Ridge. Next are the Warsong Direfang, Tundra Ice Hoof, and Armored Razorback. To get these mounts, you must kill one of the four rare elites in Tanan Jungle. They are Terror Fist, Doom Roller, Death Talon, and Vengeance. They have about a respawn timer of every 3 to 4 hours. They have approximately a 30% chance to drop the Rattling Iron Cage. The cage will drop one of the three mounts. They spawn in these locations here in Tanan Jungle. Next is the Void Town of the Dark Star. To get this mount, you must enter the Edge of Reality portal and kill Void Town in the Shadow Moon Burial Ground scenario. You can only do this solo. These are all the different spawn locations in Draenor for the Edge of Reality portals. The Edge of Reality portals cannot spawn until at least 48 hours after a server reset. It has the potential to be up in multiple zones at once, and each zone has an independent spawn timer for the portal. The portal will stay up for anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes before it despawns. If a portal is successfully claimed in that zone, then there will be a minimum of 8 hours before another portal can appear in that zone. If a portal despawns without it being claimed, there is a minimum of 2 hours before a portal will spawn again in that zone. Next are the achievement mounts. You get the Frost Plains Battle Boar from completing the Glory of the Draenor Hero achievement, the Gore Strider Gronling from completing the Glory of the Draenor Raider achievement, the Infernal Direwolf from completing the Glory of the Hellfire Raider achievement, and the Soaring Sky Terror from completing the Draenor Pathfinder achievement. It would take me a while to explain how to get all the Dungeon and Raider achievements, however if you'd like me to make a guide video on how to complete each individual Glory achievement, please let me know in the comments down below. Next is the Solar Spirehawk. To get this mount you must kill the world boss Rukmar. She has about a 1 in 500 chance of dropping them out. She spawns approximately every 15 minutes. She spawns in this location here in the Spires of Iraq. Next is the Iron Hoof Destroyer. To get this mount head over to the Blackrock Boundary Raid located here in Gorkrond. Set the raid to mythic difficulty and once inside clear the raid and then kill Blackhand. He will have about a 2% chance to drop them out. While clearing the raid, you can pick up a quest that will give you a skip straight to Blackhand after you complete it. This quest is called Sigil of the Blackhand. To get this quest, defeat the Iron Maidens. Once defeated, head straight to the box maids to the right, and at the end of the maze, the quest giver Gorlock Amplecrack will give you the quest. Next is the Felsteel Annihilator. To get this mount, head over to the Hellfire Citadel raid located here in Tanan Jungle. Set the raid to mid the difficulty, and once inside, clear the raid and then kill Archimond. He will have about a 3% chance to drop them out. While clearing the raid, you can pick up a quest that will give you a skip straight to the 6th boss core fiend after you complete it. This quest is called the Well of Souls. You can pick this quest up from Cadgar. After you complete this quest, you will be able to get the next quest from Cadgar called the Felspires. Upon completion of this quest, you will be able to skip to the 2nd to last boss Manoroth. And those are all the mounts from the Warlords of Draenor. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I also like to stream on Twitch. If you would like to come check me out, I have provided a link to my Twitch in the description down below.